Hi there. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Aaron with Fish On, Fish On. Uh, it's time for the product review. Usually I do my product review on Tuesdays. We had a lot going on over the computer and online with a lot of products coming in. And I'm super grateful for everyone that's sending me products to review. Um, so I postponed it till today. But I am at the Wabasso Bridge here in Sebastian, or Wabasso. Um, I have a really awesome product that was shipped to me from Flip Rock Extreme Flip Flops. Um, gentleman by the name of Anthony over there will be able to take care of you guys with all your flip flop needs. I'm about to show you the product. It's amazing. When I tell you this is an innovative product, it's made from all marine grade material, which you know doesn't rot, doesn't degrade over time. Um, super durable, and it actually has a lip here in the front to protect your toe. Now your usual flip-flops, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I don't know if you guys suffer from the same problem I do, but you know, here in Florida, warm weather year round, you don't want to wear heavy boots. You don't want to put water boots on, you don't want to strap jetty cleats to the bottom of them things and uh, weigh yourself down. God forbid you go in, God forbid you slip off with a rock, your jetty cleat fails, you have all that weight on your feet holding you down, which you know, in turn can be a serious issue and has unfortunately happened to me in the past. But uh, back to the lip here in the front, amazing guys. You know, you don't have sand kicking up in, in your sandal underneath your foot. You don't have dirt. Um, some of these places have, you know, unfortunately line and hooks and old bait on the ground. You don't have any of that kicking up underneath of your sandal, you know, damaging or potentially hooking your foot. So uh, that's really, really nice is the lip here in the front. He also has a strap in the back which is made of an elastic material that holds this flip flop on your foot really, really well super easy to get in and out of also um, they also offer a pad here in the back that's velcro see right here that holds this flip-flop on your foot in any kind of weather any kind of water any kind of movement it holds it secure to your foot um, the really cool part about this flip-flop also is it comes with interchangeable bottom pads which um, if I haven't already mentioned it comes with a boat pad which is really really nice which is still has a lot of grip you're not slipping you're not falling and again it velcros right to the bottom you pull it off and you can interchange it which the cool part is he offers jetty cleats for the bottom of these guys which again goes right in velcros on and you're ready to go which I love it you know I mean it makes the diversity of this sandal super amazing and you, as you can see you're on and you're ready to go um, seen a lot of these guys down in Sebastian Inlet slipping, falling, sliding all over the place, not being able to hold footing. These should definitely help you with that situation. Again, he offers three or four, maybe even five different options for the bottom of these guys. Um, as you can see, these are the grip, the gripping pads from Flip Rocks. Um, on the back here, he's got about four or five different options again. So, I mean, He'd be able to help you with any of your ordering needs if you guys have questions of kayaking. He offers the bottom for the kayaking. He offers a felt bottom. Some of you guys don't like the uh, the aggressive cleats and you want to go with felt. It seems that the felt might hold better. He offers felt uh, bottoms. But me, myself, I like and I love the jetty cleat option. It's always held up really, really well. And again, we're here in Florida. You don't want to you know, wear heavy boots and heavy jetty cleats and be held down. Um, just to give you guys, you know, a kind of understanding on why I'm so excited about this. Here's a jetty cleat from Corkers, which, mind you, really, really well made. Straps to any boot, but again, the spikes seem to wear down. They seem to dull on me with this. I haven't had any issues with dulling. I haven't had any issues with rusting. You know, I know you can interchange these, uh, these spikes on the Corkers, but I haven't had any problems with the Flip Rock Flip Flops that I needed to interchange them. They haven't dulled down on me, they haven't rotted, they haven't rusted. Um, but again, look at the size difference, guys. I mean, the weight ratio to the flip-flop to this, you have to still strap this to a rubber boot and, you know, go in the water. So the weight ratio is definitely different and it definitely pays to have the flip rock flip-flop on your foot instead of the corker. My own opinion, again, you guys might think different, but you know, in colder weather, yes, this might pay off. But here in Florida, my, my God, or even in up north in the summer months, this would definitely pay. Again, that's a Flip Rock Extreme Flip Flop. 
I have a link down at the bottom of this page if you guys want to check it out. And uh, again, thank you for you know checking in with me every Tuesday, which I know it's Wednesday, but thank you for checking in and, and watching these reviews. Uh, check me out on uh, New Jersey's Fish.